Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. Dude. Welcome to the science of podcasting. <laughs> the ancient arts back when scientists believe in God. That was a sick period for science. When scientists believed in God. Scientists, yeah, like when they would be yeah. like, yeah, when scientists still believed in God. That was a good period of science. Yeah, what were, what were some of the best advances made? Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Ether. Ether yep, was one of my exactly. favorite. Yeah. The crystal spheres was another sick move too. And everyone thought uh, all the planets were held in spheres of crystal. I didn't know that. That was a serious theory. Like people were like, oh, obviously. <laughs> they were like, duh. <laughs> yeah, obviously everything's held up in the crystal That sounds like balls. something you would believe now. Uh, I, I was excited when Let's I saw it. Let's bring it theory. back. I was disappointed when they were like, obviously it was disproved. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, what, what is an atmosphere if not a crystal sphere? Exactly. Well, there's people who claim they can hear the music. They, they claim the planets when they spin make like a certain frequency. And there's people that are like, yeah, it, it's called the music of the spheres. They're like, I can hear, you know. The Did they say rotating. what it sounds like? It's a heavenly, beautiful sound. Dude. I could it's probably just, hear it. It's probably... If, yeah. if I got to like a quiet enough place, I could almost definitely hear it. Music of the spheres? I'd have to. Some claim, some sensitives claim they can do it. Man. Mm, are there, like, well, that's got to be true. That's got to actually be happening, though. It definitely makes a sound, dude. If you put yeah. the window down in a car, it's like... <laughs> 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 if you're spinning the whole... If you're hearing a whole planet whoosh, it's probably deafening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just locked into our, we're, we're encased in crystal spheres that's why we can't hear the music of the spheres that's a really good point yeah. we're living under an open window of the entire planet yes that's why we have the greenhouse effect that's why the planet's heating up everyone thinks it's fossil fuels nay it's crystal spheres <laughs> I'm gonna enter that into the climate discussion seriously like, well I think we should revisit this thing from the 1400s <laughs> yeah crystal spheres hey Jackson could you not buddy I knew he'd be it's a problem. Prancing around. I knew he'd be a problem. Jackson, come here, bud. He's a ham. As soon as the camera, he's gonna shut this on, whole thing down. down. Yeah, he needs to make a big entrance. Jackson, come here. Jackson, come. He's about to start chewing on the surge protector. It's all over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I can get him. If I had my jacket on me, I'd lure him with a treat. Up, oh. Jackson, one treat. <gasps> wow. He did all walk right. here real sexily, like one of like a like a fat chick with too much confidence. <laughs> 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 That is, that's Jackson's attitude for sure. Yeah. Let's rip this bong. I'll get him sorted out. Jackson, come. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Come on. Get up here. Get up. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Otherwise, you're staying home next time. There you go. Lay down, buddy. <clears throat> All right. We're back. So my favorite, my... The, Sit down, I was telling you guys how one of my favorite things is imagining a guy. Oh, yeah. It might be my favorite. It might be my favorite thing to do. True. Like when Sid was talking about the Speed Racer black guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never knew they were called Speed Racers. I've never thought to call them Speed Racer black dudes. I mean, that's what I call them. Yeah. Th you know, that's how I identify them. It can threw I, me for can a I dissect loop. the etymology of their Speed Racer origins? Yeah. Why, were they, why are they Speed Racers? Because they look like they they're wearing like racing gear. So it's like we're talking. We were talking about Bluetooth technology and and old black guys using it, which led to just thinking about old black guys in like a like a sensible jacket with like a Kangol hat. Yeah, they look <laughs> fast. You Calling know. people young man. <laughs> well, so it's funny though. What if a Bluetooth? Like one side effect that nobody knows about, it just slow like the waves. Like you know, people like worried about microwaves. Yeah, it just slowly mutates you into an old black dude. Yeah, <laughs> you're a twelve year old white kid. If you have it in too much, all of a sudden you're like, I got this bad leg. <laughs> got this bad leg. It's one G. One G is infiltrating your brain. <laughs> <One G. laughs> and you start calling people young man and like showing off a little bit of like terrible boxing form. Like, oh, oh, oh. Mad, dude, that would be a sick. Did you ever see the thirteenth year of the movie about the kid who becomes a dolphin? Just a, 13, just, a, just a 13 year old boy becomes an old black man <laughs> his whole family's like I don't know how to take this not in my house the dad's all conservative you're not in my house 
Dude, that's a that's the oh. rarest wigger in the world. A young dude, a thirteen year old boy going old black guy. Instead of young black guy. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. eating like kick cereal. His mom's like, "How you doing?" He's like, "I'm awake, aren't I? <laughs> I'm breathing. I'm gonna do the best I can. That's all I know yeah. how." <laughs> Don't you play with me, young man. <laughs> I'm gonna do the best I can. <laughs> it's always the best answer possible. Yep. Ask yeah. old black like, "How you doing?" today it's like well i woke up everything's on me now so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. God, i'm sorry yeah. my brain got hung up on this movie you, you threw out there real quick yeah <laughs> like he turned it like right when he started coming he turned the his metamorphosis is slow that's the best part <laughs> <laughs> that's just like what the fuck? 13 going on 60 year old black guy <laughs> yeah, yeah. starring tom hanks as the dad <laughs> that'd be a great role for tom hanks if his son got wigged, I mean, it's kind of yeah. Tom Hanks' reality. We could call it wig. <laughs> dude, that'd be such a sick wake up, dude, when you first started. What, we, what are some of the signs you'd look for? Some of the signs? Yeah. That my son was an old black guy? <laughs> Your yeah, son because it's going to be a slow transition. True. Yeah. You would definitely start scoping ladies way harder. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Like, like we were talking about, like the squad of them will just halt a conversation <laughs> just to bear witness to a lady's boobs. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Or some like really inane compliment, or just mm. like a, it'll be a quick like beautiful day. <laughs> quick. <laughs> Something like what you do with your lips afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. Yeah, yeah, beautiful day. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Beautiful day out there, mm, girl. Damn. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It slipped yeah. into conversation. I wonder if that ever yeah. works. Or it's just okay. <laughs> like, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so sick, uh-huh. dude. Just check. Yeah, just check yeah. a strange lady. Okay. Also, too, it was like. Uh, I would watch out for my kids saying to their friends things like, uh, how your mama doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Dude, what if he, if he starts saying hello to his friends from really far away? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not even a hello. No, just look at the, it's a full conversation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> it is. Huh. It's a entire body salutation. Dude, he's just repeating it because the other guy's not hearing him, but he's trying to. You know what? <laughs> I said she's still playing games. <laughs> huh? I said she playing games still. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Dude, I've been having a. Uh, <laughs> don't you play with me? <laughs> oh, what? Huh? Oh, let me come over there real quick. Let me come over there. Let me holler at you real quick. This motherfucker. Oh this my shit. god. Newspaper tucked under his arm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, he, he's in his usual stomach grounds. He's like, yeah, I grew up around here. I just come back around here to chill a little. We come, out, we come back to hang out around here. We grew up around. We all grew up around here. You, he lives like two houses down. <laughs> you hear that so much. We all grew up around here. We come back down here. Someone hit me with that yesterday. I was last night. I was walking these two. And it's like, you know, I'm walking, we're, we're in a new area, uh, temporarily and I don't know, I don't know anybody. So I'm like walking around and I saw there was a group of like six, six or seven black dudes chilling. And it's like, they're sitting on the sidewalk. So I'm like, well, I don't want to like rush my dogs through there because I'm like 60% of the time. That's kind of like, what the fuck are you like? Stop. What are you doing? Yeah. So I, I'm like, I'm just going to go on the street. I go on the street. And as I, when I go out, the guy's like, what are you doing, man? Come on, we love dogs. Bring them over here. <laughs> so I'm like, motherfucker. So I walk over. Like, come on, man, you're good around. I'm like, I'm not, I'm fine. I don't care. It's just like every other time someone's like, acts like I'm, you know, I have like a dragon on a leash. Yeah. So I'm like, I decided to go on the streets. So we're talking dogs, talking breeds, having a good time. And then uh, basically how to sneak different breeds into a, in a different apartment. It's being like, if it's an Akita, you say it's a Husky. We, we both got into it. But the... Uh, because they ask what kind of dog you have. Yeah. Oh, Certain dogs are forbidden from apartments. Yeah. So really. everyone just lies. Kids fuck shit up. Yeah. You have to and say. And people. Well, <laughs> nobody knows what it is, though, so you can just lie about it. It's like a lab husky mix, and they're like, okay. Akita sounds like a fighting game character. It's na- Dude, yeah. it's nasty. Like a Steven Seagal martial arts <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so these guys. So I was like, all right. Like, yeah, man, come on, man. You gotta, you, you're you good around here. I'm like, I know, dude. I'm fine. I'm just. As soon as I turn around. Dude, there's like two two other black dudes walk by and they were both like, oh, hell no. <laughs> they walk by, <laughs> jump back. And we're like, 
Like if they had a stool, they would have fucking they would have held it out. Do you turn and say see? I just kind of was just like, oh, come on, you're good, you're good. But so yeah, I was kind of I was thinking about that today. I was like, it was very, it was very funny. But like, come on, man, you're good. You don't have to worry about that. And literally yeah, yeah. turn around. What like, have, you have you set men? No, they're all no, but they, guys, they were right? like they're they weren't small. Marks. Well, it yeah. got me to thinking. I think the I don't know how to say this, but I feel like the better somebody's doing economically, the less afraid of dogs they are. It's hmm. it's also too the more mobility a black person ha- still has, the less they're afraid of dogs. I think that makes like sense. when when you start when you start getting more to the plus size, like less athletic. Oh man, you know dogs get scary. Yeah, because you know? like there's always you know I think everybody <laughs> believes they can Stop get away. From, uh, uh, yeah. You know, like everybody has like a like if I get in the bar fight, I'm gonna do this move. Yeah. And in, in the hood, like everybody has like, dude, if a dog chases me, this is what I would do. Is that like really? the worst thing for yeah. older black dudes? Is like everyone's waiting to see who's gonna be slow enough to get attacked by a white guy's dog. <laughs> is that like the worst thing that can be you can be? <laughs> like yeah, I I mean, yeah, I think the more <laughs> the more the more gettable you are, the less yeah. respected you are. For sure. True. Unless you wield a beast. You can just totally level up and wield a beast. I think I, that's a move. I mean, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking about yeah. that today. I'm like, that would, ter- if you didn't grow up with dogs, they'd be terrifying. All of a sudden, there's just like a big ass animal, and you're like looking at the dude, like, is that thing cool? Yeah, but sometimes people will be overreacting, man. I was like, like, I had, like, my dog, I yeah. let her run from the house to the car from taking her in the car. You know, yeah. No, no oh, leash. yeah, yeah. I let her get that little bit of freedom. You know what I mean? And there was a black lady walking up the street and she was like church lady black. So she was like wearing like, you know, like one inch, one inch, like a half inch hills. Yeah. Typically not a dog lover. They hate dogs. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're, they're God fearing women, but they hate dogs. True. Right. So Anna starts running over to her. Yeah. And the way she shrieked looked like she was about to like like you know cock back and yeah. throw a ball and my dog she has fetching in her jeans yeah <laughs> so she's like oh we're playing now and she's like running up to her and she's like turning it you know, on looking yeah. like where, where are you gonna throw this from and she's like get your dog it's like calm down yeah. like most of this is just theater yeah stop it she's like no <laughs> yeah <laughs> nah. yeah it's your dog now bitch <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's always I, I've been in that situation before and it's always just like yeah, like it's a full like yeah, yeah. And it's like and the look is total contempt. I had to conquer my fear of dogs. If I'm being honest, I kind of sympathize with these people. I had a fear of dogs because I got bit as a child. You got bit? Yeah. I think it was like a German shepherd bit my ass and oh. left like vampire scars <laughs> in my ass. <laughs> Where were you when you got attacked? I was at a friend's house. I was in like second grade, I think. And uh they were like you know, we were all poor people, smelly houses, bad pets. Yeah. They had a big dog, and I think we were probably wrestling or something. I don't. You know what? We might not have been doing anything. I remember being frightened by this. I think the dog just spazzed and bit my ass. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! And punctured my ass skin. That's terrifying. Yeah, through my pants or shorts. Or yeah, it hurt. I got bit in the probably ass. my sweatpants. <sighs> dude, I got mailmaned. <laughs> oh, I got bit in the ass by my sister's dog. It fucking hurts, dude. Yeah, it hurts bad. Yeah. It was this was my fault. I'll take full responsibility because I like I like to just like they're like the, I don't think those dogs get along. I'm like let's just see, like I have to see how I'm like they'll get they'll figure it out. I don't I I have a terrible thing with this. Okay. So her I, she was telling me like no nah, trust me blah blah blah. Well, the two dogs and they started fighting. So it was my bad. So they started <laughs> fighting. So I went to break it up and then her some other dog came and just bit me in the ass during the dog fight. Oh, and I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was like, no, nah, let him fight. Let him yeah. fight. <laughs> you know, let him saw true. this. Let him saw this. That, that might have been, yeah, true. <laughs> That's a sign as well. No, nah, come yeah. on, let him play. Let him get it. <laughs> they'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah I might no. I might be morphing into an old black guy. I, I try to do that to people in the dog park all the time. I'm like, they'll figure it out. You already yeah. are. True. True. Yeah. So my so I had a uh, so I, I had one of my dad's relatives was a is a strong speed racer black, the other one, uh, Kevin, my man. This is my favorite yeah. black relative of all. Yeah, he he was like he would have been a speed racer black if he wasn't a turtlenecker. <sighs> a very Whoa. strong opponent, yeah. dude. <laughs> that is that's like uh, did you ever hear the singer Kim? No, I don't think it's, so. it's like very the turtleneck black dude listens to the smoothest of jams, dude. For sure, turtleneck black when dudes have the better clones by far. Absolutely, <laughs> it's not even close, dude. dude. You know, yeah. know that song? 
I don't know. What like, was the song again? I can't stop loving you. Oh, bow, maybe. Bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. No matter what I that tell. Sounds, oh, that's a dude. That sounds like a song. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, they always get like their fucking nails manicured and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, a couple of necklaces. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like when they have skinny dreads. Turtleneck black dudes have skinny dreads. Yeah. That's a cool guy. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> going to talk to you about ancient pyramids and shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> True. Yeah. He's wearing a purple sweater, like turtleneck sweater with the sleeves like pulled up halfway his forearms. A lot yeah. of tended fingers. That's a yeah. cool guy. A lot of like ancient uh, African history. Oh, yeah. You know, back when we were kings and queens. Yes. Yeah. Dude I like rules. that guy, too. Dude mm. rules. Yeah. Extremely small wireframe lenses on his glasses. As small as your eyes could use. <laughs> yeah, that fucking rule. There, there's a uh, guy, I think it like, not, it's not Harvard. It's one of the major Ivy League schools, but he's exactly what you're describing. And he, he's like, yeah, like I do. He's a psychologist at Columbia, I think. And he was like, yeah, I do a little bit of heroin. It's not a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. I do rules. Yeah. Was there like an article about this guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's busty. He's like, I'm, yeah. Yeah, he said I'm a functional heroin addict or something. He's like, there's like nothing better than just doing a line of H by the fireplace and relaxing. Ooh. I'm like, I mean... You're probably not wrong, <laughs> but there's like hundreds of thousands of people who that is leads he the to like, only like moderate heroin user. He, he there must be few and far between. I mean, he's the only spokesperson. Yeah, he's the only one talking about it. True. Yeah, yeah that's true. Everyone else is all in except for him. I think, dude. Every time I do, you ever read the Arrowhead shit, mm -mm. dude. That's a fun hole to go down online. Air, do Arrowhead. They can do. You look up every single drug they know about. And then you can do experiences. You can read about people trying heroin and like fucking their lives up. It's nuts. You can read like this is this is the first time I smoked crystal meth, and they'll tell you like the story of it. It's fucking crazy. That's awesome, <laughs> I, yeah. dude. It's the sickest shit. I used to get way into it. I just get. I used to read. I would. I like read all of them. I would read all the drug experiences from. I was fascinated with drugs since the time I was like, in like third grade. I used to take books out on like uh, huffing. And be like, whoa, what's this? Where did you find a book on Huffer? In our yeah, library, really? dude. No way. I swear to God, we had a book on Huffing in our library. I read about no it. I've read the book and then tried it. <laughs> it's, it's an instructional book? It was telling you like what to look out, how to tell somebody's Huffing. You get a little rash around you because you have the bag on your face all the time. It's like how to tell somebody's Huffing, like why people huff. I told you exactly Imagine how to a huff. Huffing habit. Dude, there was, that was big. When I was younger, it was like the dudes who were older than me. There was a lot of dudes who fell to it that. It was pretty mythical for us. I don't think I knew anybody. Yeah. Dude, my dad. Oh no, I was at a an eighth grade no parents are home party one time, and kids started huffing spray paint out of paper bags. <laughs> yeah, I don't think spray paint works though. <laughs> I don't. I didn't try it. I was a good boy. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're. I did a chalkboard cleaner. I just me and my friends squirted it on the rug and we knelt down in like fifth grade and just sniffed it <laughs> as much as we could. <laughs> as much it as sounds like a ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> it was, dude. It was yeah, an absolute how right. Was it? Would you recommend it? I just felt like sick. I, I just, just like, wish there was a drug I could do that way, yeah. <laughs> dude. It, <laughs> it's pretty sick. Yeah. Dude, getting down to your knees and then face east. <laughs> well, it's oh, so man. funny too for a teacher to just be like. Seeing us go back and forth and kneel down on the rug, she's probably like, "What the fuck are they doing?" She didn't know I was equipped with the knowledge, dude. Our li our library had the fucking weirdest book. It had books about like the, what to do if your parents were alcoholics. I would read those. I would read all those books. First time I saw my dad drunk, I was like, "Well, he's gonna beat my mom." That's. I was genuinely like terrified. Like, fuck, he's definitely beating my mom right now. I was like, fuck, and I just sat there and was like, "Well, I guess I'll go to bed. This is terrible." This is terrible. Yeah, I do. I used to read the most fucked up stuff when I was younger. Damn. Was all I read, crack. We had a book on crack in our library. That's so cool. It was bizarre. I, I guess people just donated them. Dude, I didn't know people could get like fucked up by beer when I was a kid. Because my dad drank. <laughs> Dude, my dad would have like a beer with dinner every night. And then yeah. I think he just drank him until he fell asleep. Yeah. I never once saw him drunk. True. Never once. So I didn't know that like people that drank a lot could just be completely fucked up that's so fucking <laughs> funny i thought it was just normal it's something you could, yeah that was true too i remember i thought it was completely normal for someone to have four beers with their dinner i was yeah. like yeah dude <laughs> yeah. you're done work you come home and have four at least four budweiser's with dinner oh fuck yeah i thought that was dude, so normal until i tried it once cans. and i was like jesus christ <laughs> yeah dude my aunt my parents were like dude, i remember when I, I bought budweiser as a like either near drinking age or at it or whatever and it was like a bizarre look from like 
adults. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, keeping Budweiser in your house past a certain age, you're you seem like a real loser. <laughs> yeah, Budweiser is definitely that was I remember I sipped Budweiser in high school at a bar for the first time. And it was literally, I was like, oh, that's what my pop-up, that's my pop-up smell. Yeah. I was like, I felt like I was it's drinking pretty cool. him. It's pretty cool. I felt like I was drinking him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally like, oh, whoa, that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's funny to think about the amount of beer people used to consume as if it was, I totally normal. Like, it was just a couple seltzers. Not, not a light beer to be seen, either. No, dude, it was heavy king Man. of beers. It was king of beer. Of course, banquet, <laughs> if you're like a little bit kind of different. Wow. Yeah, it's insane. Everyone drank Budweiser, basically. Yeah, I. It's kind of weird that people got away from it. People started acting like high life was legit, you know. Yeah, I. I, uh, I was a big MGD head. I thought that was like the best beer could possibly get, and then I developed this terrible allergy. Then I was afflicted. <laughs> Wasn't it afflicted. nuts caring about that shit? What about beer? Yeah. Or about my in your devastating youth. gluten allergy. <laughs> no. <yeah. laughs> I mean, caring. When you say caring, what do you mean? Remember, like it was important to you which beer oh, people yeah. knew you were all. About oh, dude, I remember <laughs> when I, you were like eighteen. Oh yeah, I remember, like, dude, I got when I was like like younger than that, and I get my hands on a beer T-shirt, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh my god, like a natural light T-shirt, like fourteen. You're like, oh my god, this is awesome. That was the hottest gear you, for me. If I got alcohol company gear, a yeah, promo beer T-shirt, I was dripping, dude. <laughs> If I had like a beer shirt, like a Coors Light tea at like 17, it was like, dude, I'm never taking this off. <laughs> yeah. People know I'm about beer now. Beer <laughs> fucking rules. Yeah, I was a big beer head, actually. Yeah. What would I sip on, though? What was the beer? Back then, it was like I tried to be a Heineken guy. hated that. Cronies, you could catch me with a Heineken crony. was an uncle beer. Yeah, yeah. That was for like uncles in like golf shorts. I liked the nice stout bottles. Tried to get into it. Couldn't. Uh, I, was, I was a light pills dude, to be honest. Yeah. Who am I kidding? That's all I that's yeah. what I would drink. BL I would drink BLs, MLs. Yeah, I'm trying to remember Guinness. what I what I saw people drinking, like what what brands I saw people drinking growing up around me, but it was like most people were showing up to the place drunk. True, yeah. You know what I mean? Like people didn't people were so fucking uh selfish about you know, sharing the alcohol or people like drinking their alcohol. Pre especially out of all of pregame. Yeah, it's all it's all everybody did because nobody trusted any of the other family members to like keep their hands that's you know so just funny. be moderate with the alcohol not pig yeah 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 that's actually that's really funny damn dude yeah what would anyone bring it well actually i will say old black dudes are no strangers to the king of beer no not at that's all that's not, not I, at all. I would say it's king of beer i uh, drink one out of a bag a can out of a bag on the bus when that's what that's oh i thought i said you recently no, were. No, no, i was no, like no, that's no. what's up dude no catch, <laughs> catching a speed racer black dude drinking a can of beer out of a paper bag on the bus is just respectably yeah it's pretty nice actually. yeah pretty nice talking to himself the whole time saying goodbye to everybody that gets off <laughs> 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 not crazy not no, no, a no, crazy no. person very just an old black guy just like narrating you know what i mean very gentlemanly absolutely <laughs> Absolutely. The Steppenwolf. Did you ever read the book Steppenwolf? No, I saw nah. you post about it. Dude, though. I'm reading it right now. It's so fucking sick. I mean, that book, that's my What's favorite it genre. It's my favorite genre I've come to learn. Is like There's stories about just strange men who live like, enter boarding houses. And it's like the respectable innkeeper is always like, At first he perturbed me. His ways were strange. But I came to learn he was a deep man full of passion. Dude, it's the best genre. <laughs> okay. He left me with a sense of deep unquiet, I will admit. Oh, the like the uh, refined gentleman fiction. Yes, exactly. It's refined. Yeah. It's uh, refined. Dude, nothing trouble than gentleman. refined troubled dude, gentleman. That, hey, dude, it's the best fucking... <laughs> Steppenwolf is just that. Another book, The Razor's Edge. It's all about a, like a troubled, but like kind of refined, carefree gentleman that at the time people would go, his ways are bizarre. He has no sense at all. <laughs> but, like, there's, but there's something alluring in him that I can't quite put my finger on. Dude, there's it's my a, favorite yeah, genre. There's a healthy touch of this in Downton Abbey. I don't know if you've ever watched. I bet. I haven't watched it yet, but yeah. I bet. There's there's enough of it to really sink your teeth into. Oh. Bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you anything. Dude, I mean, that, I, mean I, I, think I, gotta, I think I gotta give the show a shot. Downton Abbey? Yeah, because Anthony God. was like, dude, you'll like this. She 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 because I don't like most of the shit she watches. Yeah. So if she's really into something, Got I'm like, code. nope. She's like, code. no, trust me. You'll, this, this one you'll like. 
when they emphasize, usually they're right. I've gotten that myself as well. Yeah, it is fair. But it's oh like, yeah, my wife knows when to tell me it's time to watch a show and when to leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's because if I'm watching, because when I'm watching a show that I hate that she, that is there's just that she's watching, I can't shut up about it. Oh, uh, I stopped doing that. I used to fucking torture her. I, I left it alone. I stopped. She, she does it to me with South Park. She's like, this is so stupid. I'm like. Oh, it makes me like it less when you do that while wow. watching it. We've reached total equilibrium in our house. Actually, it was after talking to you. You were saying, like, let them have their gay women shit. Oh, yeah. Stop to. trying to, like, get them to stop liking gay women shit. You can't. Yeah. You got to give it to them. It increased the peace in my household. <laughs> <It's>, it, <laughs> honestly, it was like we were near, like, 100%, and I think that put us at to the finish line, dude. That's, and now it's we're both completely guilt-free in each other's specific media choices. That's good. That You need that because, dude, I, w- I would go in. She'd be watching Rivian. Riverdale and I walk in and I just go <laughs> and it's, it's just yeah. so it's such a bummer it's like come on man like I like this yeah she dude it's always it's like high school dramas it's like it's the shit she loves yeah dude, I gotta let her I just gotta let her have it and it's like she'll do shit she'll watch the same thing she's like this is the fourth time I'm watching this I'm like stop like it hurts me I'm like don't do that dude Mary Jo just watched an entire series that was a Japanese dating game show it with subtitles Watch an entire series of it. Whoa. And I would like pass through the room and be like, this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anthony watches a lot of those like horse shit date. And honestly, it, it, dude, her fascination with them kind of draws me into the show. That'll happen. Oh, like, yeah. I'll watch and be like, huh, okay, yeah, the, the guys of Am, okay, cool. And I'll like, next thing I know, I'll be like, who's that guy? <laughs> I, I get drawn, dude, I got drawn into fucking. Some the originals. That was yeah. the worst show I've ever watched. Right? Yeah, I she's, was like fired up. She's watching a show right now where like they meet for a little bit and then they get married. Ooh. Yeah, it's like in like a week, and then they like check keep checking back on them to see how they like if they're still making. Oh it. shit! Like you know? people. Okay. Yeah, and it's uh, so like I'm seeing her watching it, and first of course like when I first pop down next to her, I'm just making fun of it the yeah. whole entire time, and then like. You said like a little bit into it. Does that tick her off or is she like cool with it? No, I figured out how to do it in a way where it it makes her kind of catch me up on the show. Yeah, yeah, So now she's like, she she enjoys catching me up on the show. Yeah, they can be a a bit of stalwarts about catching you up on a show. Like what's going on? Like I I don't feel like explaining. It's like, just fucking please bring her up to speed. (laughs) Brittany's a bit of a stalwart on that show. See, I don't ask. I I make fun of something and I I always get close enough to it where she's like, oh my God. Like she wants to like tell we'll me how close, the show. yeah. Or she's telling me how close or how far away I am with my insult. Oh, okay. You know what yeah. I mean? She actually this everything happened. she tells you, you follow up with like. And by the way, I still think this is gay. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. But like after a couple, after a couple exchanges of that, I'm like now watching the show, and I'm just like, I don't think this couple's gonna make it. Yeah, you that know, would be like, that'd be tough to stop watching, just waiting for them to be like, fuck this. Yeah, or they they say they're like fuck this. I'm not doing this anymore. The next thing they're back like yeah, I don't know. I was fucking just pissed. So. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> That's got to be brutal to get divorced on TV. Yeah, I mean, what is? I yeah. mean, if technically the rate's fifty percent, so it's like by yeah. law of averages, it'd probably be more because the stress of being on TV would. It's although having higher. the playback would be nice, hitting the tapes. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. The, the everything is on the record. They're like, actually, Paul, yeah. spin that back. Or have it'd be nice to have a John Madden the whole time. Like, <laughs> oh man, Tele- teleproptering an argument. Oh man, <laughs> oh that made no sense. <laughs> Whoa, she's never gonna forget that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> it was very personal. Yeah, we were, there are a lot of a lot of Love Island in our. Oh my God, have, you, have I told you guys about Naked Attraction? What? It's a BBC dating show, and you can be naked on the BBC. So naked attraction is it's one person Wait, standing in the no circle. blurred, no blur, full. When did BBC frontal. go full nudity? Apparently, it's always been like this, man. Yeah, they love president they Austin love Powers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they hit a hard yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> when you get a warning, it's called an O behave. <laughs> it's so funny to think yeah. about British people whenever they're sexual, they just turn into Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, behave. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, oh my, oh my God, you feel so good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it feels so good in there. 
Oh, oh I'm going to come, yes. <laughs> oh, it's great anatomy. It's coming out. You got me, me absolutely randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming oh, out. Oh, now it just dribbled down the balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like Piers Morgan doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd Dude, be that'd be silly. How did they end up talking like? How did people used to talk like? Is it, there used to have been a crazier accent before that that that's like a watered down version of. Yeah, like, people know. back on the British Isles in like the 1400s must have been like, yeah, <laughs> no, no words. I think the British accent was something we had to lose, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Like two BC, it was just them being like, no, yeah. <laughs> we we came over here to cure the accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Thinking about proto words, if people just made weird sounds at each other. No, that's not funny. I hate that. You don't want to think about that. No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. Some dude was just like crawling on your back in like the year dude, two, and you're like, <laughs> how many words? How many words do we do you think we got to until people were like, I'm not learning any more of these. Stop inventing them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god. Probably like 200 words and people were like that's enough i mean dude to think that the word gay like arose from a behavior <laughs> then morphed into being like stuff people kind of don't like is crazy people saw that and they're like what the fuck is that and they're like that's gay <laughs> <laughs> that is gay and all of a sudden yeah. it's like this guy's fucking gay yeah this is so dude. gay these rollerblades are so gay i might start calling people fairies again <laughs> fairy would be sick fairy was a tight one yeah fairy's pretty fun i've recently for lent i'm gonna stop uh Calling my dog F's every now and again, I slip up and call him F's. Whoa, why? It's just like uh, it's like the only. I don't know why. I like like when Jack when I go to get him up to go to bed at night, they won't move. I'm like, come on, you <laughs> like pick him up. Like, come on. <laughs> not like a nasty way. It's just kind of like, come on, like an old British guy. But like, come on, you old fig. It's like gently, respectfully. But I'm like, gotta stop doing it. So I've started to call them cowards. <laughs> Like, come on, you cowards. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. It's called. He's a coward. That's, That's so funny. funny. That, that would be more hurtful. If I, I'd, I'd, Dude, have someone call you a coward? Being the last person awake and calling your dog a faggot is so funny. <laughs> I got to stop, dude. Yeah. I got to stop doing it. That's not great. It's not. It's the worst. It's, it's not the great worst. It's It's. Currently, my darkest attribute, dude. <laughs> I can't let it go. I, I'm coming out clean. I'm trying to stop. Yeah. I'm trying to stop calling my dogs faggots at 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have a problem. <laughs> Maybe you should just go to bed earlier. That might be a part of the problem. Mm -mm, I was, the so you could be naked on the BBC. Yeah. And there's a person standing in the middle of this circle. On the outside of the circle, there's these four or five tubes or however many contestants there are. And the person in the middle is selecting their partner based on them being revealed nakedly so what? These from from feet, from yeah so the tube raises towards the <laughs> ceiling and the person is inside of it so this isn't the married show this is a different see, show no this this is just to go on a date i guess oh, okay yeah. damn have you suck yeah. you got your wife out of a tube <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where, so where, i think they show yeah. like up to your thighs right and then based on that they have to eliminate someone and what they, yeah and then they go up and they show you just the bottom genitalia they're trying to destroy us psychologically yeah Dude, that's it's it's wild it's wild television what, what kind of like when you're talking about if you had to pick based only on Yeah, like, like if pussy. they're just like yeah, they're all of a sudden and it's like they, my cap. I didn't even think about that. And but like what 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 style of pussy would you be like? Any of them? Here? Oh, any of them. I'd be like, yeah, perfect. You've never seen them side by side, so it's impossible to know what you can't. Oh, you don't. See, you only. No, see. no, no. You see them side by side. But I'm saying there's no predicting your guess. I mean, obviously you're going to gravitate you're gonna, towards a, a buttery mini butt. <laughs> <laughs> So like, like the little, clean, the, the little buttery pop, the little mini butt, <laughs> clean cut mini. You want a Homer yeah. Simpson mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. For, yeah, okay, I'm comfortable saying I'm looking for a Homer Simpson mouth pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's where a connoisseur. Yeah. Uh, right? Ah, uh, a fellow pussy man. Ah, <laughs> uh, an angel hoof. <laughs> <laughs> His views yeah. on pussy were absolutely perplexing. Yeah. Um, God, be so funny. <laughs> so, they're, so, so they're not they great really bodies. Do that in that show? It's a good show. It's a good show. I, had, yeah. I, I think I had to. It's hard to find them on the internet in America. It's a meat market. But, Dude, um, could you imagine getting eliminated based off your dick? Uh, oh, yes, God. Like, well, it happens every time, of. and then they bring the person out, and they're like, 
She didn't like your dick, dude. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'd be and it's like, like a fat, like he looks like the penguin. Like there's fat weirdos on there. Yeah, I'd be beatboxing. I'd be like, when they're looking at my dick, I would like show off some other town. Like, <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I mean, like for, for yeah, you'd, shit. Have to, you'd have to pulse a couple times. <laughs> I'm an excellent dancer. Just want to let you know. Like she thought your upper thighs were cool, but your dick was trash. <laughs> Oh, that's that, a that fucked up. Suck. I mean, could you get a little semi? Do they get semis going on there? Like, first of all, this is just fucking up marriages. You're just flashing dicks. You're at home, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, because you don't I want mean, your wife women, seeing a penis. Not a bunch. Not like Why? not like watching people rate them. Because then it, it's gonna. What's gonna I happen? Actually, ask my wife. I'm like, tell me what you think of these penis peni you see. But the, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what could happen potentially. The, you see a dude get rejected. He's the same exact bird as you, and your wife has to be like. The hell was she thinking? <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong with that, dude? The level to which they could destroy you on bird stuff, if it's obviously if you're if you're just like flossing a humongous bird, you can make fuck off. But they have it within them to be like, nah, dude, you don't understand. Like you're, you have a tiny fucking. You'd be like, what do I? Fuck. You think they could get the switch flipped in their yeah. brain? I, I bet they're probably like, nah, they know. They they know the score. They're they're so nice to us by the fact that they don't fucking. Give us like a peek behind the dick curtain, in my opinion. Yeah, I think they've seen monster dongers, dude. And they're, they, you just, have to assume they bury it deep. Even if it's soul. not true, you have to assume because if it is true and you don't think it's true, that's game over. That's on you. You lose. Yeah. Now you assume they've, you assume they, they see, they've seen that they've been up and seen the, the, uh, the chimera. You hope. I would hope at least. You know, you don't like. They should at least because otherwise she'll have to wonder. You don't want her to wonder. If she hasn't had Monster Dong and you don't have Monster Dong, she's going to spend the rest of her life wondering, like, what about Monster Dong? Though? Exactly. And then yeah. start. Then you got to start. I always wonder. Then they start, like, look. I think they can look dudes in the eyes and tell if they have a Monster Dong. Yeah. I've I've recently come to grips with I think that's a thing. Sure. They could trace the normal every, When we're in public, I go, every, like, four seconds, I wipe her fucking vision. <laughs> 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 just, scr- just scramble the signal. <laughs> you fuck up her Dong vision. Yeah, I'd like to think I could pick out a dude with a huge dong. I'm constantly surprised. Really? Yeah. What, what do you mean when you say surprised? I, I have no, I have no gauge for who's donged out or not. When you get, so you just you hear basically a person's donged out. Yeah, I'm always so thrilled for them because I had no idea. I do get pumped, man. I, I get, when I found out Spud, shout out Spud, had a huge dong. I was like, Spud having it. a hammer is a victory for all men. It is. <laughs> it, it, fucking, it rules. It, it's actually really sick. I get pumped on. I mean. More than he knows. I'm like, man. Yeah. So pumped on Spud's dog. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's a weird thing to be out of proportion on a guy shaped like him. Yeah, no, it's... I mean, that's kind of... A, if you're going to have anything be out of proportion, it's kind of if it's number one draft pick. And mm-hmm. that's another thing. When you get back to, like, mysterious gentleman fucking attributes, that's probably... You were in a boarding house and the guy was being weird. The lady would probably... Like, this guy probably has a... Donger, dude. Mm. They're like he's peculiar, but he intrigues. Dude, like, I didn't. I didn't know that all those like British like boarding houses that, that was all gay and mol- molestation. What? All that shit. Those dudes were sucking and fucking. What do you mean? And like you know, like all the classic like British boarding houses or like um oh they used to send their kids boarding to schools board, that books. are like that like movies and shit have in them and shit. All that was just a fuck fest. I bet. Well, that's how wisdom was passed down from gentleman to gentleman. They had to fuck first. Yeah, they had to fuck the wisdom into them. You know, it's like you got <laughs> okay. That, 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 that's how alchemy was passed. <laughs> <laughs> that was Greek for sure. The Greeks yeah. did that, but they stopped. The English were like, yeah, but people kept it up in high society. Buggery. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's a level of people I've learned from reading these books that are so rich they have a uh, they have a whole season for socializing. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, three months of the year we take off, and we all there's like a place where like. Like everyone who's anyone goes to the French Riviera and they'll go socialize and just be little like flex on each other and be like, what are you up to? That's and cool. None of them like each from the book I read. It's like none of them like each other. I think in America they go to Vail. Is Vail where it's, it's so there's like if you're that rich, it's like ah, spring social season. You'll like be like, invite, come over for a luncheon. I think Vail is a place over. where you go when you're like, I've finally made it. I'm so fucking rich. Yeah. Hey, where is where is Vail? But I think it's in Colorado. Colorado, yeah. That's what I but here's the thing, though. So then you do that. So this is what ha- this is what I was reading about. You're like, oh, I finally made it. So then you're like, well, I guess got to go hang out with rich people. And there's just people that are so much richer than you. And you're like, yeah, damn it. Mm, you're it, back on the bottom rung. It, literally. Yeah. Because then you, you enter in a, a small circle and it's just like, oh, yeah, my great grandfather, like, Owns Delaware. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, I just nice, bought man. a thirty-six thousand dollar car, cash. So 
But, yeah, you know, we're yeah, also yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, I decided to get like one of the nicest Airbnbs I've ever got. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they charge us to use hot water. We're like, whatever, man. I don't fucking care. It's like a heating fee for the spa. It's like forty bucks a night. I don't even care. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I told them to throw it on there. I'm just gonna throw it on my card anyway. That would be a sick circle to crack, penetrate and crack. The, the super high society, the socialites. Yeah, yeah, super high society. It'd be tight. Yeah. Yeah, I read a book. It was all about that. A guy did that, and in the end, he died. And from his, what? Uh, he just got so he got old. He rose to the uh, oh. socialite crowd because he would. A lot of the socialites will quietly have financial trouble from here, like here and there. And he would sell off their artware to like respectable uh, museums and quietly sell it off so they didn't have to lose face amongst the socialites. Whoa. They, because they could just be like, oh, we just, we rearrange. We decorate. You're constantly trying to keep up. Right. No one knows where your Monet is. You could be like, we decided to get, it's so, Monet is just <laughs> so passe. Old, passe. So passe. And you sell it off quietly. And this, yeah. that's how this guy. Let entered. me ask you something. How many people do you know that have a Monet? And they're like, one, two. And you're like, exactly. I think it's over. Like it's, that's, that's, like, oh, it's very charming. You have to constantly be like, like, it's very charming that you have these. And the guy's like, are you fucking talking <laughs> shit on my house? That's all they do. They just attack each yeah. other with, it's crazy. You can go to school to learn how to, I think if you go to Harvard, you learn specifically oh, how dude, to do this. Saying compliments like, oh my God, I think it's so great when someone first gets into art. Yeah, it's, it's like, shit like that. Fuck you. It's, I'm telling you. You, you stupid you, fucking bitch. You learn how to do the, the, the Ivy Leagues. If you want to get the top tier of society, you have to learn how to just motherfuck someone like nicely. Yeah. So this guy penetrated them. He penetrated. He got in. So like he, you know, they entertained him. And then it was like he started. He started making like started making a lot of money off this. To the point where he could afford the shit they had, and they started being like, "This guy's." They called him a dealer. They're like, "He's a dealer." They'd be like, "Ugh." The fact that he like just does commerce, they're like, "Ugh." <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> they don't so, fuck with merchants. <laughs> no, it's kind of they're kind of like can't be in any, any kind of any worthwhile family just has money yeah. saved and lives oh, off the interest. Oh my so they're god! They're kind of like, oh, he has to work. They're like, <laughs> oh so no. They, and he was really ashamed about. It. They call him a dealer, and he had to like. He went to his place. His shit was always changing because he, he would hold stuff and sell it. So he'd be like, "Oh, I got that piece. It's just old. I got rid of it." But at the end of the book, he he's he's laying there dying, and he doesn't get invited. Some like Duchess doesn't invite him to the party, and he's like, he goes into a full like, "What did I do with my life? I wasted it trying to hobnob with the elites." And the guy like, the guy like the narrator is like, he a Don Quixote of a totally pointless existence, and now he's dying, and the guy just fucking dies. Whoa! The guy smudges the R- RSVP and he's like, "No, you did get invited." And he's like, "I knew it." And he's like, "I'm not going anyway." And he had got like he had got he donated so much money to the Roman Catholic Church that they did some sort of genealogy thing. We're like, "No, your great great grandfather actually was a duke." So he went and got there's like a certain duke outfit. It's like a silk. He got like a royal garb. He got the duked up. <laughs> he got duked up. He got duked and up. he was going to wear it to the party. <laughs> he was going to show up as a duke to the party and just be like, look at me now, you fucking pussies. Yeah. <laughs> and he, didn't, he didn't get invited. And he's like, those motherfuckers that he had the duke stuff hanging up. So he was like, fuck it. He's like, the guy smudged the RSVP. He's like, no, you did get invited. He goes, fuck them. I'm going to wear that. He goes, put on my duke clothes because he knew he was going to die. He's like, bury me in this. Fucking dies. Whoa! He got this last rites. The like the arch die. Like the bishop came and he's like, "Oh my god!" The bishop came giving my last rites. I knew I was important. It was just like, uh, <laughs> dies in his bishop, dude. So sick. Damn. Wow. Talk about imagining a guy. Yeah, dude. That's that's wild. That's a weird type of dude. That, you don't have that anymore, dude. It's crazy, dude. Used to be in like, you would go to a fucking rooming house. Like there, you'd be like a sixty year old dude, probably more like forty. You're in a rooming house and like. Your whole family like died of like typhoid, and you would just like have to like just become like some weird dude who roamed around. And the ladies like if the floor was dirty at all, you would be like these fucking pieces of shit. These guys are so disrespect. They're like, ew. Are there like, still like old guys like this in cities? I think there are. Maybe. I mean, dude, it was like a fucking real thing to like if you didn't sweep. Like, there's still like I'll like clean up out front of my house, but like when that gets dirty, there's dudes who will look at you like you're a piece of shit, dude. Yeah, you're a fucking scumbag. It's like clean your stoop, dude. Yeah, you're a scum. I didn't know. I didn't know this, but there's people that are like, dude, you're a scumbag if you don't do this. Yeah, people would fight each other in my neighborhood over that. Not cleaning it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the sickest. I got actually. I was once mocked for sweeping leaves off of my front steps. For, in, by who? In my Kensington house. I know it wasn't Poppy. No, of course not. It, it was, was actually, not Poppy. It was a it was a white trash dude from around the corner. Yes, he was walking by and he was like, <laughs> "What are you doing?" I was like. 
<laughs> He's like, it's just going to get dirty again. I, was oh. like, what are you a, I mean, what a child. Oh, my God. Really? He just it's, it's embarrassing stranger? for someone to have that thought seriously and then say that it, it would be embarrassing to make that up as something dumb. Someone said, you know, yeah. and also try to be profound. Be like my bed's going to get messed up again anyway. Yeah. It's like there's like broken digging. bottles in the gutter. I'm like trying to get rid of it. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but he was like one of those. I think there was secretly well, we did have like a big transformer station around the corner from my house. So there was like heavy power lines, but we had such a density of white retarded people on yeah. my we had a triangle shaped block it was it was caster glenwood frankfurt yeah and i swear to god dude every it was more than every other house had retarded people oh yeah i dude i when i'll say this and i think this is also fair to say poor people poor white people are the most terrifying poor people easily Absolutely. easily dude Easily, yeah, they don't give a fuck. My dad, they turn into rats. They're yeah. terrifying they're like rodent yeah. people. Oh yeah, they yeah. look rodent. Yeah. yeah. So my they dad, get that, like straw kind of textured brown hair that's very greasy and just hangs straight down. Yeah. If yeah. a white person doesn't get like enough Fiji, the next generation is total like <laughs> gutter face. Yeah, they go feral. <laughs> <laughs> Their tusks grow in. <laughs> yeah, my sorry, dad Sid, fought a, a white retarded family over them throwing trash mm -hmm. on the sidewalk. Good luck. Good fucking yeah. luck, dude. You're talking taking on a whole retarded white family. Well, he didn't know. Like, he didn't realize he was taking on a whole pack. But like they they all lived across the street. Did I tell this story before? No. So they all lived across the street from us in two houses. <sighs> it was a big a big family. So there were uh, three dudes and more women than there should have been, like more adult women. Cool. You know, like the ratio was way off. Weird. And then all their kids. So. I think it was like, like multiple baby mamas sure. per guy. Yeah, yeah. In the place. So it was a button a bunch of kids lived there. So they were leaving and uh the lady of one of the dudes threw a bag of trash out her window before the car pulled off. Oh man. And my dad was like, You gotta pick that up. And she just stuck her middle finger up at my dad. What? And then they drove off. And my wow, dad, that's pretty cool. It is. It, it was, <laughs> they spin the tires. It was, yeah, it, was like a, it was like a Camaro type car too. Oh, it was like man. an IROC Z or oh, some shit. Whoa! So funny to see that and be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Fade him up. laughs> suck it, old timer. <laughs> yeah. They both put their shades on at the same time. Yeah, but yeah, they they uh, they peeled out on them, and uh, my dad went and got a fucking chair and sat it. Right in front of oh, us. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. Dude, it was like, so this happened like before. <laughs> I just imagine your 12-year-old is pulling up a plastic chair and sitting down. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh, into the shot? Am I falling out the shot? Dude, I'm like, I'm chilling out of the shot. <laughs> Dude, wait, so. Dude, yeah, I chilled out of frame. I bet. It's all right. As we're starting, Sid goes, check out the posture. It yeah. means. <laughs> just melts. He just yeah. rolled backwards out of the show. <laughs> Your dad posted up. Yeah, he posted up. He posted up all day. It was, uh, it was like, we had to bring him food to his chair. I was like, because he didn't want to, he didn't want to miss them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And it was, um. So we, I mean, we we all fucking gave up on it because like it was they could also park out back, and if they parked in their in their back alley, we, he would have never seen them do it. It's a risk he's willing to take. He would have saw a light come on in the room though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad was also confident that they had way too much shit back there to, to park back there anymore because <laughs> he had recently seen how much shit they had back there, and uh, so he you know he just waited out. He's just waiting. And like we're we're in the house just like like being a normal family. Sure. And my dad is like just and I'm like this is my stepmom. And yeah, yeah. You know, so we're just dude, it, it was like we're like drinking hot cocoa and we're just having a great time. Sure. And all of a sudden we just we hear uh you know like doors shutting and like men screaming at each other. And like I came outside and my dad was squaring off with one of the guys, you know, yeah, to yeah. fight him. And then the other two ran out of the house. Shit. And like raptors. Dude, it was it was fucking <laughs> crazy. And, uh, you know, and it was, again, it was like, it was one of these things you get to see, you know, how people always had this, like, if I ever get in a fight, I'm going to do this move. Yeah. Like, they were, like, trying to do their, like, their one kick and punch move that they had planned to, like, uh -huh. distract and then hit. And my dad is, like, 
He was a Golden Gloves boxer. Yeah, he was on like a level. They're trying of to dragon punch him. Dude, he was on a level of double was, dragon, dude. He was on a two D scroller. Was, what if your dad got Shoryuken in front of the house? Uh, that would change dude, your life. And I he was like on flames. He was on fire in the air. <laughs> Go home and be a family man. So I'll say this: You know how I brag about my athleticism and my constant abilities? Yeah. Like still to this day, I have to believe my dad can still. I think do you showed me a pic. I think you showed me a pic, and it was ridiculous. Yeah, my dad. It was insane. My dad is he? He's like you. He's not human. Yeah, it was like short dude. basketball shorts and shit. And it was. It is. It, was it is pretty. Yeah. Fascinating to imagine the dude you're trying to live up to. <laughs> <laughs> I never could. I, I could not Damn. physically like what he was capable of doing physically. Is he a speed racer, Black? Nah, he was just like he's a weirdo. He's a black I see. Boy. I see that's a road, that's a road time you're going to go down. Not quite a time traveler. We have <laughs> we have time traveler cousins though. <laughs> like, so wait, he, what's his deal? What's his garb? He's just like he's just a kind of an out there. So like he's uh, a Steppenwolf. No, nah, but he yes, he's he's closer to Seven that. Seven Wolf is a wolf that leaves the step and enters the village and is in an alien world. You know, so I my, my dad is one of those black dudes that never ask, answers a question. Oh, that's so sick. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like and he but he's he's always jacked and like capable, so he'll say whatever he wants. He's well, not mean. When he answers when he asks him a question, does he just go like come on man? <laughs> I no, he starts he loves to talk. I thought you said he doesn't answer a question. He won't he won't answer How a, does he how does he evade the question? I mean, there's a lot of things that a person can do if they're trying to evade. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like he's that guy, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> that was so subtle, dude. I, isn't it? That was so subtle. And, and, and then, like five minutes later, you're like, I don't think he answered this fucking question. Damn. <laughs> you know? And he'll and he. But, <laughs> but it, so it's somewhere between none of your goddamn business and the truth. <laughs> I mean, it's right in the middle. Oh, no, it's total. Dude, mis- it's, it's all not, misdirection. It's like, yeah, but there's all. no falsehood to it. You know what I mean? Mean? Yeah, it's it's a There's filibuster. No deception. Yeah, he's a but filibuster. He, he wants people. He's not. He's not. He's not a. He's not a G. He wants people asking him questions. He's a flirt. Yes, <laughs> I was about to say. There's he's no way that's flirt. not a flirt. But There's he's no yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But he's like he's a he's like a he's also like uh, if if the time was right, he would have been an anime black. Wow, that's what's up, man! Imagine be, that's just <laughs> he, he's, he's all he's he's black. sci-fi. He's sci-fied out. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I feel wow. like there was dudes who were just—he was probably just born eighty years ahead of his time. Yeah, like a young Nietzsche. He—he uh, he once told me that he learned everything he needed to know about life by the eighties. <laughs> dude, <laughs> like that fuck, like, it's definitely true. Yeah, fuck, dude. I mean, to be fair, it's twenty twenty. I think I learned everything I need to know about life. Yeah, he doesn't know he no cell phones. Like no, no, nothing Beast. beyond the nineties is in his house. Beast. Yeah, it's, he's fuck. It's he you know, like he's like, no, like dude did not make the to get out of the social contract that is cell phones is a such a sick thing to do. Yeah, it's like how, yeah, I was out. Catch you, put it on my answer machine. I'll catch you later. See the amount of freedom that entailed is insane, dude. The, so I'll be talking to him. He does. He doesn't have call waiting either. And I'll be talk. I'll, I'll call him. That's sick. And be like, what's up, dad? He'll be like, uh, well, you know what. I'm gonna have to let you go because I'm waiting for a call. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> it's like I'm glad you called though. Oh, that's so <laughs> but uh, sick. I'm gonna have to go and get up off this phone because I'm waiting for a call. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that yeah. fucking rules. And now, so my goal is to now keep him on the phone as long as possible. But who are you waiting for a call from? Oh, and like oh, you know Earl's Earl's going to call me. We're going to talk. Oh, when was the last time you talked to Earl? You know, oh, now, just watch him sweat. Yeah, yeah, Fuck, yeah. Dude, dude, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my boy for a month if I miss this call. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick, though. You're like, all right, I'm gonna watch like two episodes of this. Call is supposed to come at six thirty. You just chill. That's so tight. Yeah, dude. that is. That's so chill. So when he's in, for a so call. Just standing in the kitchen on the wall phone. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning on the counter, watching it like a faraway TV. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but yeah, so in this fight, it was uh, that was the first time I ever saw my dad in a fight. Like I saw my mom fighting my whole entire life. Yeah, he pounded yeah. Rusty and his family. Dude, it was fucking insane. Really? You know, like in movies where like they show a vampire finally start like kicking ass, and he like hits one person and blurs to the next person. <laughs> oh my Dude, god! Dude, that's what he was moving like. Wow. It was fucking insane. Like I, I, it, it was the most, it's still to this day, it's the most intimidating piece of athleticism that I've ever witnessed <laughs> up close. Man, it was damn. just fucking They had to wild. go back to their queens? 
Yeah, so so uh, I like I I had to, like I grabbed one of the guys because it was sure. like after seeing this, it was just like I cannot have my dad think sure. that I can't do anything for sure. And How old uh, were you? so I was sixteen. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say like five, like those kids in in Walmart fight videos. <laughs> like the toddler starts <laughs> kicking a lady in the face. I, don't be talking. Don't be, don't be attacking Stay my dad. My mama. <laughs> Leave my dad alone. <laughs> 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 that's probably the best thing to fight with your dad when you're 16 and like join him out and dude it was fun i mean it was like it, it, it was a pretty cool experience because yeah. like i was like i was athletic i was like already a track star so i was like strong and i could do stuff and i've been like you know i've been taught to fight my whole entire life yeah and uh so one of the dudes starts trying to get in his car he opens up the car door and he tries to run his car my dad grabs him pulls him out of the car another guy the other guy runs you know, because there's still two guys. I only have the one. Yeah. He runs. He grabs my dad's arm and pulls him off the guy that's trying to get into his car. Yeah. So I run and I grab the guy that was grabbing my dad, which allowed my dad to start grabbing the other guy. And I, so I slammed this dude like from like I had him in the back. It was like a like a what what is the name of this the, the foot trip? You just bring him over. <laughs> so I, I was know. thinking about yeah. Yeah. starting your your day call. not planning for any of this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dragged to the ground by a teenager, like motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. God damn it! So fuck. When, when he hit the ground, like because I slammed him from like we were we were belly to back. So you tripped him. Yeah, I tripped Backwards. him down. Oh, okay, yeah, you did a Dude. little. Yeah, when he hit the ground, yeah. he hit his back so hard that he start he lost his wind. Damn. So he was making weird sounds. He's going. Ooh. Right, so I'm just like I want to be. I want to fucking run now. My like when people start making weird sounds, oh. like my instinct is to run. You knew right? judo too, right? Yeah, at this yeah yeah. So like I had no was, idea, dude. It was so hard. Like I had was, no idea. So I'm freaking out, and now I'm trying to get my dad. I'm like I'm because I want to run. I want to yeah, go back in the house. I'm like dad, easy. come on. I grab my dad as my dad's like holding on to this dude's leg, trying to pull him out of his car. Like he's like just in reach of the inside of his car. Right. Yeah. And dude, this whole entire time, it never dawned on me that this man was trying to go get some sort of weapon. Oh, yeah. That's dude. The, I just understood that right now. I'm like, right. Ugh. Dude, that's the only thing my dad saw in that moment. Oh, wow. So his whole thing was like, so so I, I, I finally I grabbed my dad. My dad pushed me. Was he getting a weapon? I still don't know because I mean, my dad pulled him out of the car. So my my dad true. pushed me off of him. Yeah. And I stumbled back. Like I almost, I think I did step on the guy that was like heaving on yeah, the he ground. your ass. He's like, yeah. ah. And then like, uh, <laughs> I just turned around and like tackled the other guy onto a car. Nice. And just held him there. Dude, my dad was, uh, he pulled the guy out of the car. He locked his car. Nice. Threw his keys in the car and shut the door. Oh, that's enough. I'd quit. I'd be, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Dude. <laughs> my Fuck, I'd rather have someone kick my ass and do that to me. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck, no. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. So then uh, you know, so then like my dad started going to the other two dudes. Oh actually all of them. He was like, Are you done? You know, like like, are you done? Are you done? Dude? Oh my god. If you want like and then the uh the one he was guy was for verbal submission. True. Yeah. And so the one one guy was like, Hey, I'm done, I'm done. But he was he, he didn't even say it. he was like he was just like, yeah, he was like, or whatever. He he responded in a way that made my dad go, we can go some more. If yeah, you well, go it wasn't, somewhere. I'm done. He didn't, it was yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah, 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 dude, I mean, you're fucking asshole. Yeah, so he made three, and all bigger than us. Yeah, Every single wow. one of the guys, bigger and taller than us. And uh, so what, my dad pulled me in. When we went into the house, my dad like gripped me up and was like, don't you, did you ever fucking pull me off of a person that I'm trying to stop from getting a weapon? And that's when it dawned on me that he was getting a weapon. And I was like, damn, I'm so sorry. It's not, I, I didn't realize what he was doing. I'm so damn. sorry. You know? It's kind of scary thinking those dudes, if they had a weapon, still had a weapon. I mean, that is true. But Although, they, yeah. they, I mean, my dad, like, he took their spirit. Yeah, that's that sucks, dude. Yeah. It was, that was a, that was a wild, that, that changed my, I didn't, I didn't know a human could exist like that in, yeah. in, 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 in any form. Yeah, that's stuff I think about doing. I go out there. I'm like, what are we even? What are we doing? Matt, like, did you ever wonder if your dad could beat up a black guy when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I never did. To be fair, you never once thought. To be fair, <laughs> wow, dad's never I think fought I assume, a black guy. I, I wonder he how could. he would do. Well, no, my my uncles got jumped. My uncles got jumped by black dudes. Okay, I think fought them off. My dad used to carry okay. a gun, so I didn't really think about that. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, he carried that thing on him. So yeah. I never really, I never thought I about. Did, it. Dude, I was certain. I was like, any white dad, my dad. Hundred percent of the time, he's a nasty motherfucker. I, 
black black guys were an unknown. I was like, I don't know how you would do. Did you ever fight a black dude? Me? Yeah. I got in a scuffle with a black dude. He yeah. Was strong. He when was I fought strong. that homeless guy. Oh fuck. That was a black guy. How was that? Oh, you fucked him up. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it's such, such it was fun, but then I scared. I got so scared. I was so I was so scared because it happened in the middle of the street. And he tried to push me into traffic. What? Yeah. So by the time I was done, Great. I was still the homeless petrified. Used, they used the board. I was, <laughs> yeah. They used the combat <laughs> objects, dude. Yeah. Push you get a the field bonus. <laughs> They're like Yu-Gi-Oh characters. <laughs> Bro, he sucker punched me and tried to like take me into traffic. What the fuck? I, yeah, it was pretty nuts. He tried to manslaughter you. But then I, dude, it, it, it all clicked. It all worked in the street. All the jujitsu instantly were, it was so cool. Oh my. But then afterwards God. I was like, wow, man, almost died. That was terrifying. What was the beef? Anyway, well, what, nothing. What was the butterly. beef? Just the, I think he was trying to get locked up. Oh, yeah. And then he was just like, All right, I'll just go swang on someone. That was Damn. my guess. Yeah. That would stink to like lose that. Dude, I broke, I broke up a fight outside of Helium. There was this, like, it was a, a young dude. Uh, this homeless guy walked past this couple and said some disrespectful shit to the chick. So the guy confronted him. Uh, yeah. Homeless dude swung on him. Now they're fighting in the street. They fought three rounds. What? Yeah. Oh dude, because it was like, they were like, dude, this homeless Who's cornering dude. cornering the homeless I was about guy. to say, went to the judges. <laughs> well, I, I mean, <laughs> it was, I, well, so as far as the dude's corner, it was his chick. She was cornering him. Because oh, at first it was like, kick his ass, kick his ass. And then it was like, Stop. Let's just go. Yeah. Because, dude, he was getting his ass kicked. Oh, no. By a homeless dude. He was getting peppered. In the street. Like, no. They could be strong as fuck. A homeless dude, you never know. It could be like the weakest dude ever or the strongest dude ever. Yeah. And be, it, they they are, could also be on an insane drug. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. True. It could also been, be on yeah. fucking angel dust. Uh, yeah, true. I, it, I saw a guy smoking a dipper the other day. Yeah. I walked by. I was like, God damn it. Yeah, that willingness to stay in the fire, though, I think was something that the, the kid didn't expect. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because, like... You know, like if you're you're in a fight, like you don't want to get hit, and you're like backing up. And oh, shit. he was, yeah. And this dude was like in his face, like "Give me what you got." You're yeah, my yeah, own. dude. You know, and it was, uh, dude. So I I stopped it when I noticed that the the dude was bleeding. Who was bleeding? Ew. The uh, the, the boyfriend, boyfriend, the boo. And I was like, I went over to him and I broke it up. I was like, Hey, separate, separate. He's like, No, I'm gonna fuck him up. I was like, Dog, you're not. You are bleeding. I don't think you're gonna want to get hit by him more Ugh. as you're bleeding. And I'm like, the homeless to, guy I'm, must have been like rude, <laughs> <laughs> rude. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> sir. Do you want to go fist the cuffs uh, as well? I'm right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it'd be funny if he's like, yeah, man. Trust me, you don't want my blood on you. Yeah, I mean, he he was like, he was like, yeah, he was kind of agreeing with me. I'm a biohazard, dude. You sure you want <laughs> to fucking do this? Homeless guy is our Komodo dragon. But he wasn't. He wasn't getting it. You know, and I'm like, young blood wasn't getting it. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. You know, and I and I did say I was like, I'm sorry, man, but like, this guy is a homeless guy, man. Yeah, you get you're gonna get homeless guy hands in your blood. <laughs> Dude. What? Yeah. yeah. Did, did the guy finally be like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that kind of like sobered him up. It's also a good thing to be like, yeah. Otherwise, I would have fucked that guy up. I'm out. Yeah, you're lucky, dude. dude. Yeah, I, dude, we get Round that. Four dude, love, the same. Ultimate move is telling a dude he's lucky when you're backing out of a fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking yeah. Lucky, dude. <laughs> yeah, we get homeless dudes saying crazy shit to me and Brittany all the time. I always go just like ignore yeah. that. I'm not fighting a fucking homeless guy. Nah. It's crazy. Unless nah. if he attacks me, obviously I'm fighting. I, I'll kill him. Yeah. But it's like, I, sure. like I, if a homeless guy attacks you, I think that's that's the law. You can just. That's when, that's when you regret neck. that you your just, main means of combat is grappling. Yeah, true. Like, yeah, right. they're so stinky. I don't want to know jujitsu anymore. I would just go right for their eyeballs. This thing is tough. The homeless guy attacked me. I would go. I would go for like a mortal wound. Ew, gross. No, dude. I would just no. pull their eyes out. Ew, I wouldn't touch a homeless guy. <laughs> I'd like the dude from Indiana no. Jones. I would just fucking no. just pull his heart out. Pull, of his yeah. <laughs> That'd be sick to just absolutely dismember a homeless dude and make he attacked me. Yeah, the, yeah. You can't. I'd, I'd hit him with the rock bottom. Oh, just one rock oh, bottom man, and bounce. Just fold See, up no, a, 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 a real dude. pile driver, dude. Yeah, not a tombstone. <laughs> a fucking real pile. <laughs> Smash his head on the ground. You get one chance to experience a pile driver. <laughs> Some dude's like, just fucking right your hands with white motherfucking. I'm like, yeah, All right, he's got like it. a found weapon and he's coming at you. I get the most racist attacks every every now and again. It's like. It would be tough to tombstone Once, a homeless guy, though, because you have to 69 him first. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to Natural stand. Natural defense. I could not stand the, the 69 before yeah. the tombstone impact. You're talking about like two years of ball <laughs> Yeah, you'd probably pass out. <laughs> True. You would probably pass out. Natural defense. Oh, dude. Yeah. 
He's trying that, to bait you into a tombstone. That's their Komodo dragon. That's their Komodo dragon parts. <laughs> and it was like, you ever smell, you ever, you ever, just, <laughs> this dumb motherfucker's tombstone to me. He was, he was baiting that guy into a tombstone. <laughs> he was, he was, he was, he was attacking him with his head down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like those movies where everything ripples out. It's like, boom. <laughs> yeah, the window shatters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh-huh. guys who hurl epithets at me every now and again. Jackson, come here. Right? Yeah, what the hell was that? Jackson's like, I was homeless. <laughs> Fuck here. you guys. Yeah, come here, buddy. Come here. Jackson, no, like, I was dude. homeless for a while. Yo, did you guys did you guys have that uh, that phase of pranking each other in your childhood where yeah. you would run? Jump as high as you could, and then grab somebody's head and touch your butt cheek with it, and just run off. No, we we would cup farts and hit people with okay. a, a cup yeah. fart. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you could also do a, a jump fart. I still cup farts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it's it's pretty good. I haven't hit someone with a cup fart. I think in like probably nine years. Oh man. But I think the last person I got was my it's little vile. Brother. It's such a <laughs> yeah. fucked up it's thing so to do. Gr- it's such a fucked up thing to do. Mm. Yeah, doing it to your family's. Dude, my brothers Pretty used rotten. to fart on my pillow, like nonstop. Gross, I would dude. lay down. <laughs> I would lay down and be like, "Ew!" I didn't know what it was. I'd be like, "Why does my pillow smell?" And they would laugh hysterically. Yeah, we used to fart under each other's covers and then like cover it all oh, back dude. up. Dutch oven. Yeah, classic. But like, but before anybody was in bed, oh. so then when you open it up, <laughs> they're having a territory dispute. We got a little Russia Ukraine going on right now. Jackson's Jackson wants that bed. Matilda's like, "No, bro." No, <laughs> uh, he's back. He's like, do it. I did. Oh, oh my god, dude, he's such a dickhead. He did it. Come here, Tony. Tony, lay down, Tony. Come on. Take wow, that was brutal. Take the, he does it all yeah. the time. He doesn't have any manners. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's just like, I want that bed, Matilda. I uh, come on. It is what it is. Matilda, bed. Lay down, Matilda, bed. I know. I know. That sucked. Come here. It's fucked up, Tony. Shit Come is here. fucked up. Come here. Shit's fucked up and it's not fair, Matilda, but you know. <laughs> that was welcome to the real world. <laughs> fucking bite them. Just bite them. Like Dude, did your my parents had dogs and we had a lot of fatalities, like dog on dog fatality in the house. Really? Yeah, dude. My bro well, my brother ran over our one Jack Russell dead. Our other dog, we had a German Shepherd and then another Jack Russell, our German Shepherd tore it to shreds. Real, like multiple times, multiple times toward the shreds, it got sewn back up, and the third time, it, the, the <laughs> doctor was like, "Yo, we can't put them back together yet." <laughs> yeah, we, we had like a brutal animal house, dude. Yeah, I've experienced a lot of cat death. Really? Yeah. Where do they? What? Where, where do they? Do they like hide when they die? Well, or they one just time die, they die with dignity. Dude, they? one time we adopted a dog and it killed one of our cats. Yeah, I'm worried about Jackson. And it went and snapped her little neck. And then another. That was we had two cats. That was the girl, and then the boy got fat, and then got out of the back door, and got stuck in my neighbor's fence, and just died, <laughs> just starved to death. Dude, really? and I had no idea. We thought he just ran away. We were like, all right, he just took off because of the dog incident. How'd your neighbor not see him? Well, because my neighbor was an an old guy, and there was like uh, it was like row homes with like a disgusting alleyway that was overgrown. Yeah, yeah. Away from my place, I obviously. Sure. I was pouring bleach over the fence every day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were being responsible. I was bleaching the vines behind my house <laughs> constantly. <laughs> and I get maybe it was in the winter or something, or maybe it was in the summer and it was like overgrown, but he got stuck in their chain link fence. I guess he was like trying to go through a gap or like fit through something. Uh, and he got stuck and died there. And we never knew. I thought he just ran away. And I was like, oh, now I don't have any pets. And I loved my cats. And what about just, this dog? You had this horrible dog. We had to rehome the dog. Why? Because you killed the cat? Yeah. It was a, a, you can't do that. You can't kill my beloved cat. That's anyway, true. That's true. Dude, so months go by, possibly even years. Yeah. And my neighbor says like, yeah, there was this one. There was like all kinds of alley cats in there. But he was like, yeah, was, did I tell you about the time a cat died in my fence? It was this <gasps> fat black cat. Oh, no. And he was just like telling me about how he threw my cat in the trash. I was like, <laughs> I was like fuck, man. I never even told him it was my cat. You didn't tell him. Well, he because he loved giving me bad news. Like if someone, oh, I remember someone broke my windshield and he was just like, ah, Timmy, hey, someone broke your windshield. And it's like, fuck, you, you're so fired up to tell me this. When <laughs> if I just walked past you, I would have seen it in I know, I know. five seconds. Yeah, don't make me confront this now. Yeah, so I couldn't give him the satisfaction of knowing that he pulled my 
bloated cat out of his <laughs> fence and threw him in the trash. <laughs> Dude, we have, my neighbors are like that. Like they like what like they, by the way, two a brother a brother brothers live there, and one of the brothers has his wife living there. So like I circled back to the same type of lifestyle really? that I like, got away from. But they, yeah, they got you in the classic pincer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But one of them is a. Uh, Loves giving loves giving the neighborhood bad news. Oh man! And like he tries to jump ahead of you. I fucking hate that. I mean, it, it's annoying, but it's like I try not to give him the satisfaction either. Sometimes I act like I didn't hear him. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that'll that'll fuck that dude up. Yeah. If you ignore a dude like that, that's gonna. I mean, anyone it would bother anyone, but no, them especially. Yeah. Because that's I, their currency. That's yeah. their only. That's their only perceived value to the world. Yeah. True. It's block yeah. captain energy. Yeah, we have block captains. Like, just let you know, block captain. We're gonna clean the street. It's like right. our block captain had it written on his trash cans that you put yeah. out. Oh yeah, that's that's a special. That's the type of dude who like just didn't know what the Boy Scouts were, and just like it just more finally, it was a natural Boy Scout. Did you did you have a uh, guy sitting on the steps with a police scanner guy? No, yes. I knew a fire. I used to work with a volunteer firefighter that kept the scanner going at all times while he worked. It was we, so fucking annoying, dude. We had a guy on like one of the one of the streets with the most foot traffic. This guy lived there, and he would just sit on his front steps all day with a police scanner. And like most of most of his teeth were missing, and he like went. He was balding at like twenty years old. Sick. Like one of the most fucked Sick. up dudes. Like he was like the ultimate strip club patron. That's you perfect. know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, he was born with this like a neon green bracelet on him. <laughs> <laughs> this dude sat on the police scanner all day, and like you'd see him like cruising around in like uh, Adidas sambas that were tied way too tight. You'd see him like just like yeah, there's you know someone fucking robbed the Wendy's, and he, that's all he, he ditched did the dirt time. all day, all fucking day, dude. The guy kind of rules. Oh yeah, this is a modern day Paul Revere. Oh God, I. Some way too tight sambas, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, dude, that was neighborhood weird spaz footwear. Oh. Way too tight sambas. <laughs> <laughs> He's also the guy. There was a period where people were getting very high powered flashlights in our neighborhood, and they would shine them at police helicopters at night. Oh, that's so fucking <laughs> that's funny. Sick. He'd be like, "Yeah, this is like six million candle power or whatever." Oh, like, I don't know whatever impressive is, but you would watch the beam hit a helicopter, and then a light would come back down. Oh, it's so yeah. fucking funny. We're talking yeah, Lumen. I think he eventually got rid of it. He threw it down a, a sewer grate. Like the... Oh, he, was, he had a ditch in evidence? He had ditched. Yeah, he threw it down there to, eventually. I know a dude I know a dude uh, from Grace Ferry who's way into high power flat. He keeps like five on him at all times. I wonder how, how many candle power are they up to now? It's got to be crazy. Because I think a, a laser beam is just a beam of light that like somehow never spreads. It's just a straight line. Because a flashlight, if you can concentrate the beam, it can be way brighter. Yeah. I don't know. I'm telling you, that's what I think a laser beam is. They reach into fucking, like, space. I know. Yeah, I know laser beams are like that. Yeah, but dude, like, where do they go? <laughs> think about it. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I don't know. Just think about it. Where do they go? <laughs> do they ever stop? Do they stop? <laughs> you guys want to talk later? Yeah, you turn them off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, stars are dead. You still see those. So someone's seeing the beam. They're like, damn, the beam's like five million. There's probably planets. Their stars are just laser beams frozen in time. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're just that light. Is <laughs> they turned their laser off five thousand years ago? But that's no, weird. that's probably not what they. <laughs> <are>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Well, <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. But yeah, they can focus those flashlights pretty tight. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> sick. You give high power flashlights are a <laughs> sick investment, dude. Just get them and interfere with a municipal helicopter. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude. Some guy like, God one. damn it. Be like, be like Jimmy Morowski. Just sit on your fucking steps with the police radio, seeing if they're noticing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just having a guy in a helicopter, like son of a bitch. Yeah, exactly. God damn it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Some of those uh, high-powered flashlights start fires and shit. Really? Yeah. I keep seeing an ad for it on Instagram. It could, it could just like that's be, a feature? Did your high yeah. power, you're getting Instagram, did your high-powered flashlight burn you? Or just being like, don't don't be a fool and have your whole family die due to your high-powered flashlight. <laughs> 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 Buy these flashlights. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's got to be some sort of warning. Buy our medium-powered flashlight. 
How do they start fires? That seems that seems crazy. It's like the the light is so concentrated that if you you put it on something dry, that it it creates enough heat to. to oh, to you're fire. saying like that? Oh wow, yeah. that's an invisible flamethrower. That's a selling point. Yeah, that's yeah. something I could fuck with. Like something like you can magnifying glass a person at a distance. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know how how much heat you can generate at a distance, but it's like like you say, like they shoot off into space, and you're like, damn, how far is that going? But you could, if I had one from here, potentially just give Buddy a little sunburn. Dude, you could definitely burn his knee. We're so stoned. <laughs> this is <laughs> stoned. No, no, this is important. You should know yeah. about this. You, someone could be doing it. You wouldn't know. Someone could be sitting there, fucking magnifying yeah. your glass, magnifying your ass on a tray. That would suck, dude. Yeah, fuck. I'm finding so, dude, this <laughs> flashlight. Do all of the ads on my Instagram are for like tactical gear? True. Yeah, it would be great if it was like. It's only a matter of time. I'm trying to use it like sense. a spy weapon, but it's like a big, large tube. The old school. Like, it's like loud. Like, <laughs> more, 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 you to wind up. It's a big, it's a big tube flashlight. It's ruled. <laughs> You're like, oh, where am I being? Oh, it's the guy with the giant yeah, screaming tube. Your dad would have to like fix a car and just be like, hold on, bust out a flashlight that big. <laughs> Fuck, that thing's so sick. Yeah. Turns on like I, this. I think I always assumed when I was a kid, I'd eventually have cool... Heavy flashlights and it just Dude, never came Dude, me together. too, man. And I, I lanterns and shit, bro. I thought I'd have a fucking nasty flashlight by now, and it's something I'm like, I'm conscious of. I'm like, it's time I get a really nasty flashlight. Mm -hmm. I haven't brought myself to do it yet. Something like vicious, it's crazy, because you wonder what it's going to say one. about you. You got to pick yeah. the right one <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. I'm going to go with something slim. Like, you want something slender, like, like the yeah. black, like a club, like a mag light. You're talking, you're talking, you're talking mag about light. mag lights, yeah, bro. Is that what you're into? Don't get me started. I, I haven't had the conversation of what I would do to someone with a mag light in like 11 years. <laughs> but I used to be like, dude, I want to get the most flashlight, fucking nail someone. I used to love thinking about that. Yeah, like, like a, dude, you could, oh, dude, imagine I'd. I had cousins who were heavy, like, yo, what would you do if I just took this thing and fucking smash you on the head? And be like, I don't know, yo, man. Yo, pretend I fucking smashed your head with this. <laughs> yo, pretend. <laughs> yo. Dude, pretend I fucking clogged your knee. My, my, one cousin, my one cousin would go, yo, what would you do if I just fucking socked you right now? Like, I just fuck like, all the time. I'd be like, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'd do. I'd be fucking furious. Stop asking me this. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that back, dude. It's so, like, yo. What would you do if I fucking came up? You, you don't see it as hard as I could in your gut. What would you do? Dude, is this crazy. Hoss? No, no. He's my young. He was young. He was two years younger than me too. He's my younger cousin. Damn. But did he have his hair spiked at the time? <laughs> <laughs> dude, having your having your hair gel spiked is he the might ultimate have been, punch. He might have been. Stomach. He might have been Caesar cut. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> I think he was a Caesar cut, dude. Just like, yo, what would dude. you do? No, but for real, dude, what would you do? Yo, for real. If I just stepped all the way back and just clocked you. <laughs> and he's going, Oof. it would always lead to like your answer. Like, did you think you could, oh, so you don't think you'd be knocked out? And it's like, I don't know, man. I know. I don't think I would be. Damn. Yeah, this thing is called the flash torch. torch. What? Yeah. So you could start, a, oh, you could be camping and just start a fire around yeah, rubbing sticks. Yeah, use it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost just said you wouldn't have to go out and collect a faggot a bundle of sticks. <laughs> no, you That's still need, you still need, yeah, you, <laughs> you still you, need the faggot. Yeah, what if you got Joe Rogan yeah. taped faggot, but like you're specifically referring to a bundles of sticks? <laughs> like, well, they took that out of context. <laughs> it's never appropriate to say that in any context. I was talking about just camping and gathering a large bundle. I didn't want to say bundle of sticks. It's a kind of a clumsy term. Dude, that's yeah. so funny to yeah. constantly be like, yeah, I was out gathering a faggot in my backyard. <laughs> like, what? What? I'm sick of them canceling everybody. I'm trying to refer Dude. to tiny sticks in the aggregate. Yeah. <laughs> that would be unfortunate, Matt, if you had to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really called a bundle of sticks. Isn't that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That was like, did you, did you ever have somebody be like, yo, do you know a dork is when you pop a fart bubble in the bathtub? That's a dork. <laughs> I was like, what? what? No, I thought a dork was a whale penis. Oh, I think it's a whale. There was yeah. something, a goober. One of them was like, yo, when you pop a fart bubble in the bathtub, that's a goober. <laughs> it was some, no, I think a goober is someone who grabbed your butthole. <laughs> 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 He's a fucking goober, dude. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I think a goober, someone who goes, nah, fuck that guy. <laughs> True. 229, we got to wrap up. Do we? Oh, man. I mean, we go. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this. This is yeah. fantastic. This might be the best. <laughs> this might be the best. We should just close out and smoke the rest of that bong. And just, yeah, we got plenty. Yeah, here. I, I've already loaded it.
I loaded it sneakily. Oh, sick. Here you go. It's a great job. Oh, dude, that's all you. That's all you, Sam. I mean, you, you're the one that sneakily loaded it. I mean, I think... It, I loaded... I sneakily loaded it for you. You, you want to crack that? Please. Yeah. You do it. Oh, Jesus. Man, please. we are such gentlemen here. I know. We're such refined gentlemen. Welcome to the medieval science of podcasting. What? Yeah, Fortuna, I'm gonna Fortuna start spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek, The Next Generation. Ooh. I've never watched Star Trek, The Next Generation, outside of like seeing, like channel flipping past it when I was a kid. I support I support you in this. But I, I saw some YouTube clips, and uh, there I, I, I specifically watched some scenes, and I think there might be some refined gentleman elements to it. Oh, for what? sure. Star Trek? Take a sip of the bomb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop slurping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sweatshirt's gonna, the sweatshirt's gonna smell nasty. Unless these clips were taken out of context and it's actually cringe, it seems like there's some pretty sick refined gentleman stuff going on in deep space. On yes. the next generation, what? It is, ab- it is. First of all, you're absolutely correct. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, oh, wait, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. My, yeah, I grew up with a Star Trek head. My mom, my mom watched Star Trek all the time. So, did she have to like hide this, or was this kind of something she owned? No, nah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of. Uh, Black people. I know they fuck with sci-fi heavily. Yeah, but I've never, I've never seen it as a thing. That usually it gets a thing that gets kind of like, I don't know, man. I've never seen that celebrated. To be fair, I thought, uh, I thought that Riker fellow was supposed to be like a laughing stock character, but it seems like he's pretty cool. Yeah, I only saw the movie, so I don't know. Yeah, I think I did see some of the movies. Dude, Star Trek is the shit. Those the are movie was nasty as fuck. So yeah, I mean that's, that's the whole good. point of it. They're like they're refined gentlemen explorers. Yeah, they're going th- and they're 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 being first contact with all of these again. races and shit. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude, I drank it. She left the milky on me. Done. I have a mouthful of bong water. <laughs> yeah, I think you were just smoking it in the wrong vector. <laughs> yeah, too much of an angle. Why'd you do I that? Think so. Yeah, it's all wet. You got to go from. I was street. leaned back. I'm you gotta not gonna put lie. A, you got to put a plum on your forehead. I got to blow my nose. Dude, I've thought about that life a lot. Of just being like, I could just go run a fucking Burger King. Yeah, like top of the food chain at a local bar. Like so, dude, my rise would be meteoric. Yeah. So just hitting a burger chain, hitting the, like seeing the lay of the land, just taking out the manager. It'd be so easy. And the whole time you're just thinking about regional, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> I wanted to do this in Walmart. Yeah. I talked about this before. I wanted to do it and chronicle my journey to see how high I could get. Man. I still might, that might be my retirement project. Just That'd be pretty sick. Soaring to the top of Walmart. Yeah. And like secretly record all my meetings and just release it as like a thing. Would you start at Breeder? <laughs> my Veritas Walmart. <laughs> um, hey, do you have a second? You want to sit down? <laughs> like, you watch Veritas? It's so funny. Yeah. He just like, he tricks people. The dude that like wears costumes and stuff? No, he just tricks, he gets hot chicks. He just gets hot young chicks to trick these dudes into like <laughs> spilling the beans. Dude, these dudes spill the beans. Const- it's so fucking funny. He's like, well, I, I said that in confidence. It's like, well, you knew you were talking to a reporter. And just you see like the playback of the video, and it, you're like, oh, he's talking to a hot chick, and you're like, another thing about these fucking things, they're not really testing. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> he's like, well, I, 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 I didn't mean that, dude. There's been two people who got like just caught up in that shit, right? Like, just got, I almost said that shit, pulled back, and was like, <laughs> that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, know what I was thinking? <laughs> you know what I was thinking? What? We should look into it and spend the money to get like CSI level graphics on like when we blow out smoke to like make it look like almost like a Doppler. Just do like a, a very intricate rendering of like. <laughs> okay. Something, just something to think about. <laughs> All I'm saying is we should, we should spend like $50,000 on CGI. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. That's a Absolutely. stretch goal, I think. Mm-hmm. When we get to $50,000, dude, we're going to have state of the art CGI. Yeah, I want like, yeah, crazy stuff. I want, I want 
a liquid T one thousand on screen at all times. <laughs> I want to buy like dancing. I want to buy Pixar, and they'll just make movies about me winning, dude. <laughs> like, oh yeah, there I am again. Oh nice. Mm. Wow. What do you boys say? I'm thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I think we're good. Yeah. 